That's this man right. talking about stuff that he lived, that he seen, that he felt, that he touched, that touched him. And everything that you do in this game is not, it's not easy, man. You know what I'm saying? It got a lot of whole heart and soul to it, man. And if you're gonna go hard, you go motherfucking hard. give people the experience of like if you're not from New York if you're not from Brooklyn then I want you to feel like oh shit all right this is what's going on or if you are from here you're gonna be like yeah that's definitely he doing shit that we do or we talk about you know what I mean I'm never gonna be the rapper that you look in my videos or, or you listen to my music and you feel like it doesn't coincide with why is this New York nigga twisting his wrist or you know what I'm saying? Like, it's why is he all talking about trapping and like, like corny shit like that? Hip hop, rap, that shit is from the streets. You know what I mean? So if you wanna talk about getting bitches and getting fly and having sex and all that shit, everybody's not living that. You know what I'm saying? They're not talking about what it took to get to that. But you got that all off of rap. You know what I mean? You wanna be self-made before that. I don't give a fuck if you like, yo, I was working in McDonald's, I bust my ass for ten years and now I got this. You can't just you can't just be a bum and then all of a sudden you won't. When I grew up it wasn't no New York rappers really talking about shit that I could relate to at, at the age when I was doing it. Like being a kid, Biggie was dope, but I didn't understand no drug shit that he was saying. You know what I mean? He just I looked at Biggie on some yeah, he fly, he from New York, he from Brooklyn. Like the older dudes, they was like, yeah, we know them towns, Connecticut and Rochester, because they was going there, you know what I mean? But I didn't, I was just like, yeah, I right, from Brooklyn. When, when I came of age and started doing my thing, nobody wasn't representing us the way that I am. Everything I talk about, you, you cat, you hear lines that if you don't, you wasn't personally there, you could know somebody who knows somebody who was there. Like, um, Quan came home on six million dollar bell, seen him in the old black 550. CL gave a pound, wished him well, looked him dead in his eyes. Say he facing 15, but he'll take a three to five. So that's my man Quan. Matter of fact, we could roll by his shop that he got. You know what I'm saying? He probably got the black CL. He was he had a he was facing a um, you know, he's going through some legal issues and shit. And then that's a conversation that we had when we came out. New projects I got, New York City, the album, of course. That's what's going on here. Um, we just recently dropped BSB which is Brickstar Boys. That's pretty much restoring the feeling of old when, when G-Unit and, and Dipset used to drop mixtapes. So we do a lot of fly shit on an everyday basis, but we take it for granted because it's just living to us, but to, to the world, that's some, uh, some intriguing shit, you know what I mean? So just rap about just being yourself and shit, you know? And like I said, my man Black dropped a lot of jewels on, on me, me, on us. And that's what, that's shit like that might, Certain things like moments, as you like, you talk about the moments that should save your life. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, each one teach one. Yeah, each one teach one. That's why and you got two ears and one mouth, so you can listen twice as much as you talk. Mm -hmm. That's it's flat. real. You know what I'm saying? You pass on the message. When you get it out your mind, you pass it on to the younger generation. Because I tell a lot of brothers, be careful what you do in the street because the windows are the eyes of the world. I don't pretend to be. A lot of niggas, they want to front and act like they come from the hood or whatever. Like, I come from the hood, but I don't come from ignorance. You know what I'm saying? No, you don't. I ain't have to be in the street. I chose to do that. My mom yeah. got me any pair of sneakers I wanted. Yeah. I chose to do that. I wanted more. I was greedy. I'm still here because I always had a good heart and I kept it fed. I ain't do no fuck of these business and I never did nothing to nobody that they didn't deserve. You know what I'm saying? So that calm was good on me. You know what I mean?